Hello all. Today we are going to see how we can connect our cloud integration iFlow with LLM. Uh, so for this demo I am using Gemini API. So first we can create an API key from Google AI Studio. So here if we click on the create API key, you will get an API key that you can utilize. Next, if you click on API quick documentation guide, uh, it will uh, give you the list of APIs available. For example, for this demo, I'll be using structured output. Okay. So as uh, written, like it can either generate a JSON or NM values as structured output and it is recommended to use this particular uh, schema structure um, as the content part while sending the request to the Gemini API. So here you can see um, the, it shows uh, clearly the what will be your endpoint and then in the header it's expecting an API key then the content type is JSON and in the body that is our content type um, it has two part what is your content um, and inside parts uh, we have the field name called text where you can provide your input and then the next part that is important uh, to specify how we expect the response format where that is our generation uh, config right uh, and we expect the response type as application slash json and the response schema you can specify um, like it's uh, in this demo we'll be using that and um, if we go to the Python section, um, you can see it's saying use the response as a JSON. So it's taking the text field um, from the response to set as the JSON. So uh, basically, if the uh, modality is text, so we should be extracting the text field from the response and that particular field would be in JSON string format so let's go now to our cloud integration so here you can see um, I have configured um, or designed the ISO already uh, so first step is after it's a week the input I'm just trying to do JSON to XML converter and uh, to uh, um, simulate the Error, so I haven't provided any uh, root element, right? Right, and once it fails, it will go to our exception sub process block where we have all the code written uh, to connect with our LM. So, first is that um, there's a script written to get the API key, right? Uh, so, for my case, I have uh, stored the API key in uh, the security material uh, called API key, right? And I'm just trying to extract the particular value and then setting the value as the header, okay? Uh, next step is um, I'm trying to set the prompt to say prompt is set as per the documentation. So here you can see um, in the text I have written um, provide solution for error and then it's a expression which uh, fetches the exception message right and then i have written in cloud sap cloud integration so it understand the error is happening in sap cloud integration now i also specified i uh, want the response schema in this format right and the the schema should be in json format and then I just written like the this will be an object type so I'm just expecting one object and um, with this just a summary right so 
then um, in the HTTP adapter I have configured the uh, API endpoint right um, then also I am sending the request header um, the API key here now here uh, though I am using a HTTP adapter to connect to the LM uh, later as per the SAP roadmap uh, we'll have AI adapter so in that case we don't have to use HTTP adapter we can use the AI adapter once it's available next uh, next is as the just a groovy script to extract the response uh, so this script is just checking the modality value from the response structure and if is modality exchange is trying to find the text field and then just setting the text field value as a as a written message okay so here i try to run a json payload right uh, with two fields and uh, and from the api of llm we have received this uh, suggestion like summary the error occurs when the input json document for the json to xml convert and in cloud integration has multiple top level members in its root object and that's the exact reason so it has also tried to provide some of the solution right uh, the converter expect a single root element to map directly to the xml root um yeah and can also go to the trace and see what was the actual api response um, received before we applied the groovy script uh, to extract the text field so here uh, we have opened the trace and uh, let me go to the message content to see the payload received so you can see here we can see um, it has multiple fields uh, in the text field is the one um, where we get the summary right and um, here the modality is text right and that's inside the prompt token detail yeah that's all for this thanks